What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got an unbelievable hybrid squad builder for you. MLS Team of the Season has just been released and I've got my hands on this Team of the Season Drogba and I'm going to be building an absolutely insane hybrid for you guys. It's actually already built um, and I'll be rolling through it very, very shortly. Now, I've basically got a new rule for my channel. I'm never going to be doing another 7 minute squad builder on my own. It's going to be strictly kept for collaborations. Now, I'm sure all of you are going to be so happy with that. So, if you agree with that and you want that to be the case, please drop a like um, on this video. It would be absolutely amazing if we get like... Let me try and get like 5,000 likes on this video and then I'll do another MLS Team of the Season squad builder style video tomorrow um, and yeah. So basically these squad builders right now, these like hybrid squad builders, transfer hybrid squad builders, Team of the Season hybrid squad builders, they're going to be for when I do things on my own purely for the fact that sometimes there's not enough time as soon as teams, as soon as like MLS Team of the Season get released, there's not enough time to go ahead and record a 7 minute squad builder with someone else, get all the footage recorded over. Uh, well, sent over, record their episode, um, send all their footage over, and then I have time to edit mine and then upload it. By that time, it'll probably be, what, like midnight? And you guys aren't, like most of you aren't even up at midnight. So for me to start doing like an MLS Team of the Season uh, hybrid squad builder on my own, where I can spend a bit of time actually building the team off camera and then showing you the team, it makes it much more worthwhile because I know that you guys will get a pretty sick team that you guys can, can go ahead and uh, build for yourself. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to this. Let me know if that made any sense. If it didn't, I'll try and explain it in the comment section, but I think I got the whole the main just things going ahead. Um, so, if you guys are looking to buy any FIFA 16 Ultimate Team coins, make sure you go and check out buycheapbeautycoins.com, link down in the description below. Use J54 at checkout for 10% off your order. <sighs> okay, right, let's let's dive into this now. Obviously, you know the team is in Drogba is the player that we're building this up around. 89 shooting, 81 passing, 80 dribbling, 83 physical, 70 pace. It's not the pace he's playing in the world, so might have a few problems there. But we're going to kick things off with the left winger. So we have got Salomon Kalou. Uh, he was actually a Chelsea player back in the day. So yeah, um, you know, we, we have kind of got a few more Chelsea players in here actually that I initially um, thought. But yeah, he's going to be a sick player. And that is our first... Well, our second league in here, uh, that is the Bundesliga. Right midfield then, we have got another MLS team of the season player. Um, and this guy, it's this guy that plays for Portland, Nagby. Uh, he's got 92 pace, eight, 78 shooting, 81 passing, and 86 dribbling. A really, really nice looking card there. I'm so excited to go ahead and try him out. Uh, then at the centre attacking mid spot, we have got Yaya Toure. Of course we've got Yaya Toure. It's just the easiest and best link we can get to use um, to move into the Barclays Premier League. And yeah, he actually plays really, really well at the center attacking mid spot as well. Um, so I'm sure he's gonna do absolutely amazing. Then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the left center mid. And we have got a newly transferred German that also plays for Manchester City. And that is gonna be Gundogan um, or Gundogan. And uh, yeah, we all know about him. He's a sick player on FIFA and he's gonna do absolutely quality in this team. Moving on then to the right center mid. Um, we have got another ex-Chelsea player who maybe hasn't had the best of times in the MLS, um, but I'm sure his time will come. That is Lampard. Yeah, he's literally got 34 pace now, which is quite... That, that is appalling, to be honest. Um, but he does have 82 shooting, 82 passing. Um, and the reason why I haven't upgraded him to his full, um, like, I think it was like the throwback classic um, hero cards... The reason why I haven't done that um, is because basically I'm going to be doing another kind of like score builder, seven minute score builder slash kind of thing with his actual 90 rated card. So watch out for that very shortly. Um, and yeah, so there we go. Uh, we're going to move on. Where should we go? Should we go right back or left back? We're going to go for the left back. Okay, so we have got a, another um, Bundesliga player now, the final Bundesliga, Bundesliga player in this team actually. And it's going to be the German left back. Right, you guys know I can't pronounce names as it is. I'm, I, I, I seriously cannot even. Plattenhardt, Plattenhardt. Like I know, yeah. Is that is that correct? Plattenhardt. I don't know. I really don't know. But um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will agree. That's a pretty hard name to pronounce. Okay. Do you agree? I hope you do agree. Um, so yeah, that is our left back and that is the end of the Bundesliga spell in this team. He actually looks like a very, very solid fullback as well. I'm quite excited to use him. I know he did have a silver card originally and this was an upgraded card, so this is pretty interesting. Um, and then for the right back spot, we have actually got a Jamaican um, here and he's a silver player. He plays for Portland as well. And uh, 
yeah, he does actually look pretty solid as well, to be honest, for a silver, 70 rated right back. He actually has some pretty decent stats in, on him. Uh, 87 pace, 68 dribbling, 68 defending and 74 physical. So they're not like the worst stats in the world. They actually are half decent, uh, which is why I've added them into this team. And then we're going to move on to the first centre-back then. We have got Mustafi, um, who, yeah, we, know, we all know about him. He's absolute quality um, centre-back and just gets the job done, basically. Right, centre-back then, we've actually got a really, really good player. Um, one of the new MLS team of the season players as well. We've got Ridgewell. Ridgewell, this card actually looks so flipping good. Uh, bear in mind, he's six foot two, and yes, he's left-footed, so arguably I would have loved to use him on the left-hand side rather than the right-hand side, but in all seriousness, it doesn't actually matter that much. Um, but his card, look, 78 pace, 83 defending, 85 physical, 70, 70 dribbling, and 70 passing. That is an outstanding 81-rated MLS team of the season card. I highly recommend you guys try and uh, try and uh, try him out, or try and check him out, um, because, well, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a review in this video, but for me... Just that card straight away just looks absolutely insane and I'm sure he's going to do absolutely incredible uh, in game. And then in goal, I'm sure you guys will know who we have got. We've got the Brazilian Valencia goalkeeper, Diego Alves. Now, it does only have 98 chemistry, but it's because I haven't actually applied a right midfield to right wing card on Nagby. And I also haven't converted um, Yaya Toure from a centre mid to centre back mid card but I'm in the process of doing that now so let me know in the comment section below if you like this team I'm absolutely I, I literally just can't wait to play that I know maybe the one of the weak spots is going to be Lampard uh, and I could have like you know completely um, corrected that by getting his team of the season or well his uh, 90 rated or yeah 90 rated man of the match card or whatever um, but yeah, I want to save that for another video because it's quite a special card to go ahead and use. And um, I think you guys, it'll it, it be worth the wait waiting. Trust me, it will be. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the team. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into a game. Here we go then. Let's check out the team we're going to be facing. And Jesus, um, we have got some work on our hands. We really do. Um, yeah, I can tell you all them three players are going to run rings around Lampard already because of his lack of pace. We've got a... Hold off Griezmann, 92 rated version, and also Ronaldo. Then he had um, 87 Pepe and also 95 Godin. Let's hope this Didier Drogba is good. Please, please be good, mate. Please. Oh, for God's sake. What have we done? What have we done? Why do I always come up against sick teams in these hybrid squad builders? I don't know. But, but I mean, look, I'm not ruling out a. a um, us losing here because I actually think we could actually go ahead and win. Go on. That was actually nice play. That was really nice play. Can we get there? Oh, Ridgewell. Look at this. Look at this. Go on. Played it wide. Get the ball in now. Go on, Drogba. No, it's Yaya Toure. Yaya Toure. Have a look at that then. Why is, why is Yaya Toure further forward than Drogba? That is ridiculous. That's the sole reason why I thought he was coming up for the leap. And it was flipping Yaya Toure. Mate. I wanted Drogba to score that. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether Drogba would have scored that now. That was a flipping quality goal from the boys there. Go on. Wow, okay. Lovely save from Diego Alves. Brilliant stuff. Oh, he's giving it to me here. Yes, Yaya Toure. Brilliant start to this game. Go on. Oh my god, I could have played him through there. This guy's having a mare, I think. This guy's genuinely having a mare. <gasps> Don't speak too soon, Jack. Do not speak too soon. It's flipping 1-1. One, one. Diego Alves, mate. What is going on with that? What is going on? Seriously. Oh, for God's sake. Here we go. Lovely ball from Lampard. Nagby now. Get the cross in. Can we get another goal from a cross? Didn't manage to win the header there. Oh, go on. Drogba. Oh, we've gone for the shot. Gundogan's here. Oh, we've done him. That's a goal, surely. There we go. We are back in front. That is, the draw didn't last too long. Uh, Gundogan there, kind of just deceiving the defenders a bit. Kalu cutting inside, Kalu cutting inside, and then starting at home into the bottom right hand corner. The Ivorians are going 
to work right now with this team. They seriously are. And uh, yeah, this is good proof that this team can score some nice goals. So um, yeah, let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. Come on. No, not through the middle. Go on, Mustafi is just... No, that was our left back, sorry. I'm, I, I really need to start looking at, um, at the players' names. Wow, that could have been 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that was nice, but it didn't actually work. Go on, that's a ball. That is a ball. Go on, back to Lampard. Hit it now, Lampard! Oh, Lampard rolling back the years. Have a look at that. That was absolutely sensational. I did not think Lampard was going to carry on running, let alone outpace their other centre-back. Who was it? No, that was their left-back. That was Jordi Alba. He's genuinely outpaced Jordi Alba on the running to get that ball. And the three ex... No, it's not the three ex-Chelsea players. Um, it's, yeah, another, another ex-Chelsea player has actually slotted at home. This team is genuinely unreal. I'm not even joking right now. This team is so good. Go on. Gundogan. Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, this team has like superpowers. I don't know what is going on. Seriously. This is actually a little bit mental. Go on. Gundogan. Oh, he's tried the flipping. But that, well, there we that's half time. But look at them stats. I've had eight shots, seven on target, 56% possession. He's had four shots, two on target. Honestly, I absolutely adore this team. And I've only played one half of it. Um, let's hope we can go on and win because, yeah, we've got to do this team justice. I know I'm winning at the moment, but things can change very, very quickly in, in FIFA. And I've got to back up what I've been saying because, um, yeah, I mean, like, come on. This team is sick and we've got to, we've got to prove it. Go on. Dropper's onside. Bang it now. <laughs> oh, it's my aim to get Dropper a goal now. It seriously is. It's not happening at the minute, though. Go on. Nagby's full and goal again. He's going to do the chip and it's going to go in. No, it's not. Oh, Black. Ah, oh, dearie me. Go on, Drogba. Drogba, full and goal. No, he's hit the bloody crossbar. For God's sake, man. Go on. Play it now. Oh, that's, he is off. He is off. I'm telling you now. From behind and he's off. See you later, Godin. That should make things a little bit easier to go ahead and score with, um, with our, our boy Drogba. And he's ready, I'm pretty sure he's ready to go here because of that red card. I'm pretty sure because it's just the connection's lost. Is it happening? I think it is happening. Let me just make sure everything's recording and it's not like my game capture. Okay, yep, yeah, sick. There we go. We have made the go rage quit. 4-1 victory. I'm so happy with that. Genuinely, the team played so well. Um, that's got to be one of my most favoured teams I've played with uh, recently. Like, genuinely, it is quality. Um, I, yeah, I can't get over it. And the team that we faced was so good as well. So, I highly recommend building this team. Check it out. Build it. It's not that expensive. It's like 200,000 coins or something. I would highly recommend it. And, uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new around here. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.